If you found yourself deep in the heartland and came upon an exit for a road called the Enchanted Highway, would you take it? Well, our Pat McConaughey was, and she did, on the prairie lands of North Dakota. She found a man whose recycling skills are limited mostly to used chunks of metal, but who's building an oddball tribute to a struggling farming community he calls home. Jumping fish, giant grasshoppers, and a tin farming family. They're billed as the world's tallest metal sculptures. These huge pieces of folk art adorn a 32-mile stretch of road called the Enchanted Highway. It runs from Gladstone to Regent, just off I-94 in southwestern North Dakota. They are the creation of metal sculptor and former school teacher Gary Greff, whose dream was as big as his artwork. My goal was to uh, save Regent, basically. Our town was dying. We were at probably approximately 400 people at one time. It sounded up probably close to 200, under 200, and that's probably counting everything, dogs and cats and everything. Gary says this former farming town lost more than 30% of its population in 20 years. He thought the gigantic, whimsical sculptures just might lure tourists off the interstate and down the rural highway to Regent. But there were some problems to overcome. I had three strikes against me. Basically, first of all, I, I, I never laid a bead of weld until I started this project. Never, ever welded or anything. I never took an art class. To realize his dream, Gary scrapes together individual donations of money and materials, including old farm machines and scrap metal. I buy the tanks and what I do is I, I cut the ends out and then I cut both ends out, then I cut it down the middle, and then I drive over it with a tractor to flatten the metal. Gary says metalworking is part of the Great Plains heritage. 150 years ago, you often couldn't just order what you needed to keep the farm going. You had to fabricate it yourself. And Gary says today, just about everyone who works on a farm learns something about taking care of metal equipment. And by creating art, Gary is keeping that heritage alive. <laughs> this is my first one. It's the world's largest tin family. And I guess I I started this one because I thought, uh, what can I build that's important to the Midwest? And family, to me, is important to settling of our country, to the Midwest, and so forth. The so-called tin paw stands 45 feet tall. 16 telephone poles hold it up. Gary's second sculpture, Teddy Rides Again, is a tribute to Theodore Roosevelt's role in North Dakota history. Our 26th president ranched and hunted in the state from 1883 to 1898. North Dakota is the most rural state in the U.S., with farms covering 90% of the state's land. And Gary's works are inspired by that, as well as the state's wildlife, like these colorful pheasants. Each sculpture is really very different. Each sculpture is different. I tried to find a different art uh, texture or scheme for each sculpture, so no two sculptures are going to be the same. The more delicate looking geese in flight piece made it into the 2002 Guinness Book of World Records as the largest scrap metal sculpture in the world. It weighs over 75 tons. Just the depiction of the sun's rays is 110 feet tall. Sculptures that are so large face certain threats. The Deer Family piece was recently knocked down by a 70 mile an hour windstorm, something not all that uncommon in North Dakota. You always welcome to the Enchanted Highway gift shop. Gary's bigger plans are already in the works. He and a group of local yeah, residents are collaborating to expand the Enchanted Highway gift shop in Regent. It houses a variety of souvenirs to help you remember your visit. Someday, he hopes to add a restaurant and a number of other attractions. And of course, more giant sculptures. So if you ever find yourself out on Interstate 94, about 20 miles east of Dickinson, take that exit and you might just meet up with some of the giants of agriculture. That's our show for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Ryan and we hope to see you next time.